Hello, the question I am currently answering is a square loop of copper wires with a total series resistance of 10 ohms. Um, it is placed in a uniform one uh, Tesla magnetic field directed perpendicular, perpendicularly into the paper. The loop which is hinged at each corner is pulled until shown until the separation between the points A and B is 3 meters. If this process is taken, or if this process takes 10 uh, point one tenth of a second, what is the average current generated by the loop? What is the direction of the current? So we have um, a current going into the page or a uh, magnetic field. So B and B is the current equals to 0.1 Tesla. The change of time is equal to 0.1 seconds. The total R is equal to 10 ohms. The area um, changes. So I'll get to that. Um, that's the unknowns. So what I'm trying what I try to find first is the EMF. Um, in order to get the current, I think this is probably the easiest way. And I use the equation, the, the number of loops multiplied um, by the change in time um, times the magnetic field times the area times cosine theta. This is the cross product between the area and the magnetic field, which this in this case is the number of degrees is zero, so which is equal to one since it's in the same plane, or the normal vector and of the area and the vector for the magnetic field is going into the page, the parallel. Um, and then I'm going to minus off the original um, area vector, um, which is Um, and this is also negative. So, we get the EMF is equal to um, negative. There's one loop, so I'm just not going to write that in. This is one, two. I'm also not going to write this one, this one, um, this one. So I have minus um, point one. Tesla. Um, then I have 1 divided by 0.1 seconds because that's the amount of time that elapsed, elapsed while this was happening. Multiplied by the initial area, which is 3 times 3 sine 60. Um, that would be this line coming down here. Um, minus um, the final area, which is just three times three. Um, this will give us the change in area right here. And that should be it, which should give um, these two will cancel out because point 0.1 divided by point 0.1 is equal to 1. So we have that. And then this inside in here we have 9 sine. 60 minus 9, which is equal to negative 1.2. Um, this will be Tesla per second. This will be meter squared. And then these two negatives cancel. 
So we end up with um, 1.2 Tesla meters squared divided by seconds, which is a, the same units as volts. Okay, now that I have the potential, I take, you know, um, V is equal to IR, Ohm's law. So I have these two, which gives me the current. So I have 1.2 volts divided by 10 ohms, which is equal to um, 0.12 amps. And that would be the answer to um, the average current in the loop. Um, because it's the change in. Um, now for direction. Um, since the current, or the, what should we call it, the magnetic field is going into the page, I take my thumb, and that will be the magnetic field. I take my fingers, Poorly drawn hand. And that will be the direction of my eye. And since I'm, this will be into the page, my fingers are going clockwise, which will tell me um, that is the direction of the current. Um, and there you have it.